Good morning, third grade. Today we will start chapter nine, but before we begin our lesson, I want to go over the vocabulary builder. And the first one says, fractions and whole numbers. Compare the flow map by using the words with a check. Now it says, what is it greater than? Two thirds is greater than one third. If something is broken up, broken up into three and you eat two of the thirds, you ate more. Less than. One fourth is less than two fourths. Equivalent fractions. One half and two fourths. If I reduce or make simplest form of two fourths, it becomes one half. If I break something up into fours and I eat two of them, I ate one half of it. Unit fractions. Unit fractions always have a one as the numerator. Whole numbers. Two over two means two pieces of a pie that was cut into two. I ate the whole pie. This one would be four pieces of a pie that's cut into only two pieces, which means I ate two whole pies. Now, if you look at the bottom where it says understand vocabulary, it says we are two fractions that name the same amount. We are equivalent fractions. I am the part of a fraction above the line. I tell how many parts are being counted. I am the numerator. I am the part of the fraction below the line. I tell how many equal parts are in the whole or in the group. I am the denominator. Now, today's lesson is all about how can you use a strategy of act it out or draw a model to solve and compare problems? Mary and Vincent climbed up a rock wall at the park. Mary climbed three-fourths of the way up the wall. Vincent climbed three-eighths of the way up the wall. Who climbed higher? You can act out the problem by using manipulatives to help you compare fractions. The word manipulatives just means drawings or strips. What do I need to find? Who climbed higher? What information do I need to use? Mary climbed three-fourths of the way and Vincent climbed three-eighths of the way. How will I use the fraction information? I will use fraction strips or a picture of fraction strips to compare the links of the models to find who climbed higher. So I look at three fourths compared to three eighths. Three eighths may sound larger, but it really means that the whole was cut up into eight pieces. Now think of it as pie. If your mom cut a pie into eight pieces, would you rather have one eighth of a piece? Or if she cut it up into four pieces, would you rather have one of the four? I'd rather have one of the four than one of the eighth because one of the four pieces is gonna be much larger. When we look, we can see that three fourths is greater than three eighths. The length of the three fourths model is greater than the length of the three eighth model. So Mary climbed higher on the rock wall. Let's try another one. This time you can draw your own model. The camp leader is making waffles for breakfast. Tracy ate three six of her waffle. Kim ate five six of her waffle. Who ate more of her waffle? What do I need to find? Who ate more waffle? What information do I need to use? Tracy ate three sixths and Kim ate five sixths. How will I use the information? I will draw a model to compare. Record the steps to you, you use to solve the problem. Well, I first drew two pies and broke them up into sixths. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I colored three, six to represent Tracy's and five, six to represent Kim's. And I could clearly see that Kim had eaten more pie because three, six is smaller than five, six. How did your model help you to solve the problem? I could see which person ate the most. Then it says in number two, Tracy and Kim each had a carton of milk with lunch. Tracy drank five eighths of her milk. Kim drank seven eighths of her milk. Who drank more of her milk? I quickly drew two rectangles to represent the cartons and broke them up into eighths and colored one, two, three, four, five sections for Tracy and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections to represent Kim. Kim drank more because seven eighths is greater than five eighths. On Share and Show, it says at the park, people can climb a rope ladder to its top. Rosa climbed two eighths of the way up the ladder. Justin climbed two sixths of the way up the ladder. Who climbed higher on the rope? Well, think about pies again. If your mother bakes a pie and cuts it into eighths and gives you two of them, and then she bakes another pie and gives your brother two sixths. Which slices are going to be larger? The pie that's cut into six pieces or the pie that's cut into eight pieces? The pie that's cut into six pieces will be larger. So two sixths will be larger than two eighths. What I did was draw the rope. I drew a rope the same length and I broke Justin's into six and Rose's into eighths. As you can see, two sixths is higher than two eighths. So Justin climbed higher on the rope ladder. Two sixths is greater than two eighths. Now the next one says, what if Kara also tried the rope ladder and climbed two fourths of the way up. Again, I drew a rope ladder of the same length and drew two fourths, one fourth and two fourths. Kara made it halfway up, which is larger. Fourths are larger pieces of the rope. She climbed one half or two of the fourths. So she climbed the highest. Our next problem says, Ted walked two thirds mile of his soccer game. Then he walked one third mile to his friend's house. Which distance is shorter? Well, I made a lump number line and broke it up into thirds. Zero thirds, one thirds, two thirds, three thirds. One third comes first on the number line. Two thirds comes after. So one third is shorter than two thirds because two thirds comes after one third. I want to go over the on your own problem, word problems. Number four says Suri is frosting eight cupcakes for her party. The table shows the fraction of cupcakes frosted with each frosting flavor. Which flavor did Suri use on the most cupcakes? Three eighths, four eighths, or one eighth? Well, four eighths is obviously larger than three eighths or one eighth. So four eighths or chocolate was the most used frosting. What's the question? The answer is strawberry. When we look at strawberry, oh, strawberry was the least used. I put which frosting was used the least. Least amount of cupcakes had frosted, strawberry frosting. 
My next question is, suppose Suri had also used peanut butter frosting on the cupcakes. She frosted half of the cupcakes with vanilla, one-fourth with chocolate, one-eighth with strawberry, and one-eighth with peanut butter. Which flavor of frosting did Suri use on the most cakes? She used one-half on the most because if you break something up into eight pieces and only use one of those eights, and you break something up into four pieces and only use one of them, those are smaller pieces than if you only break it up into two pieces and you use one. One half is much larger than one eighth and one fourth. Mrs. Gordon has many cookie recipes. One recipe uses one third cup oatmeal and one half cup flour. Will Ms. Gordon use more oatmeal or more flour? I drew a picture of two equal size cups and split this one into two pieces and this one into three pieces. As you can see, thir one third cup of oatmeal compared to one half of flour. There is much more flour than there is oatmeal, so she will use more flour than oatmeal. The last one says, Rick lives four-sixths of a mile from school. Noah lives three-sixths of a mile from school. Which of the following correctly compares the fractions? And I circled C, four-sixths is greater than three-sixths. And again, if you put it in the pie perspective, if mother bakes a pie and cuts it into six pieces, who gets more if your brother gets four pieces and you get three pieces? Your brother does. So four six is greater than three six. Tomorrow we will go over 9.1 PB page, but I do want you to give it a try today. Thank you.